All right, so I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, I honestly don't feel like doing it. I got back from work. I ran out to Target because uh, I needed coffee and things like that. And I, while I was there, I saw this and I picked it up. It got really good reviews. So it's the Homeido, uh, the new version 2 of the Homeido headset. I have the first one. Uh, also, one of the problems I was having with my Bobo VR that I have as much as I love the, the built-in headphones, and I don't think that the, the ones are terrible or anything, it's just that the, the FOV isn't very good. It suffers, and I heard this has a really good FOV. Like the last one did actually have a very good FOV, uh, at least for my phone. So this is, this is it, the Homido big-ass box thing. This is the box. Cool-looking box. Fun box. I like my dime. So yeah. I gotta get rid of this tablecloth. But that means I have to lift up a bunch of speakers and stuff. This thing's a piece of shit. Anyways, has nothing to do with the video. Yeah, box. Ain't a grand. Get that out of the way. And he had, wow, it's already dirty? What the hell? Got like dust and shit on it. So, something on it. Uh -uh. Yeah, Homido with their last headset gave you a nice case. Um, came with it. Oh, for for the price that it costs, which it, how much is it? Eighty bucks now. For this one, so it's, it's very expensive. Not as expensive as a Gear VR, but it's uh, apparently very high quality, nice headset. And uh, you know. The Gear VR is $99, so comes with replacement foam. I kind of like the way the... Well, actually, this is a little different than, than, it, than it was. Hopefully, this will be better than the last one. The last one was very painful to use. It has, I believe, a capacitive button on here. Does not want to press? I don't know. There's a button here. Maybe it's just very... I don't know. Well, here's the headset. I think this is a touch button. I'd be very disappointed if it's not, <laughs> because, um, you know, for the price they're charging, it better have some kind of capacitive touch button on it. Which is the, well, if I didn't already show it, or if it didn't show up on camera, it's the replacement foam, so if you sweat your brains out on it and it falls apart, you have more foam. Uh, and then, and then, and then, and then, we can pull off this, ah, oh, plastic. Okay, so, very sticky. Okay. Now there's a dial over here. Just keep trying to press this. I don't know how this works. Is it, uh, it goes forward? I don't know how that works. It just, I'll have to, wait, let me open it up and see if there's any kind of, There's obviously a uh, touch thing in here, but I don't. And so you, I don't get how that works. It doesn't seem to move right. I hope it's not like broken or some horse shit, because that would suck. I don't want to have to bring it back. Well, it seems to move now. Okay, it's moving now. Yeah. All right, so you gotta move. Okay, whatever. You have to, for some reason, push it here. It seems like it's going to be a little bit of a problem. I don't know why. It is like that. Uh, okay. Um, anyways. Then you have the lenses. I'm assuming you have, yeah, they have uh, plastic that you can take off. You have the lenses. And the lenses are a decent size. I would say that the Bobo's lenses are bigger, but that doesn't mean that it's better. It just means that they're bigger. Um, and the, uh, the one thing I liked about the last home, you know, was that the, the lenses popped off and you can replace them and shit, but this I don't think you could do that with. That was a cool feature, though. And then they have the IPD adjustment dial on the bottom. And um, you can, uh, 
adjust the uh, the screen distance on the top and um, yeah so uh, then it has the clamp in the si inside this is a mag this is magnetized I believe so like that and then in here you have clamps to clamp your phone down I hope that there's not an issue where you see the other side of the screen with this uh, because the last one had that issue and uh, there's nothing covering over that that uh, strip in the middle that you normally see also I don't see any way to line up your phone um, in the middle so that's something that, that I feel they should have but there's no it doesn't seem like there's any way to line the phone up right guess I could make a way but I feel like the, you know for that price it shouldn't be like that you could also remove the straps uh, by pressing these buttons like that so that's cool um, although I think that the top strap doesn't look like it comes off it's just the side straps so yeah and that's what it looks like it does have decent build quality it does feel nice a little weighty uh, feels like it's got a little weight to it um, I don't see any way that well, I guess it it wouldn't fog up because your nose would go your nose would go here and your eyes would be right here. So huh, I don't know. I'll see. Uh, yeah, but there's no there's no uh, doesn't look like there's any ventilation in there. Hmm. So it's 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 better than the PSVR. Don't let anyone fool you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but seriously, yeah, when everybody has a PSVR, this is what I get. When everybody has an Oculus, this is what I get. When, yeah. But we'll see how it is. Um, and that's that. There's not much to it. Uh, there's just a clean cloth in here. And I'm sure it's probably just some stupid instructions that nobody's going to read. Another Homito cleaning cloth. Um, which is useful because... Yeah, I said so. And I'm and a manual. So that's that. So I'm going to try this out. Uh, maybe if I could dig out the old one, I can compare them. There it is. Thank you for watching.